In 2016, no duo had a bigger impact on the NFL than Cowboy rookies Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott. It's been great. I mean, we're the two back there, always together, to go through the same experiences I'm going through on the field, off the field, and to be such tight friends. It's been fun. Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott. I'm told they had fun in the locker room today with some candy. Look, is this Dak throwing candy on Zeke? And if so, why waste good candy? Okay. There's a backstory to that. Uh, as a joke, he's kind of the candy man in the locker room. He said it started at Halloween. He put candy in his locker, and then, of course, all the guys would come up and ask for it. I always have a bag of candy in my locker, so he was looking for it, but I didn't have any M&Ms what he wanted. And I'm like, Dak, man, like, where my M&Ms at? <laughs> so he got mad at me. I was doing media. Day by day kind of thing is important. Just keep it, keep it coming back. That was just the start of it. <laughs> Uh, stay focused on whatever I'm doing at this moment. Uh, stay focused on this interview and not someone shooting straws at me. Yeah. Where do you guys belong on the top of the list? Huh. Uh, Zeke, I give Zeke top three. Me, it's just cool to be on there. When Prescott took over for the injured Tony Romo, many wondered how the fourth round draft pick would fare as a starter. Kid's got a great story. Got drafted, the mid-rounds. He's got that mid-round chip on his shoulder. And it seemed like the better he played, the larger the chip actually grew. For so many teams that had passed on him, he definitely proved to himself. After a 13-3 and season, Prescott's peers voted him the fifth best quarterback in the league. They don't have anybody to match number four. They don't have anybody. Hey, that's money. It's not money on game day. It's money on game day. It's easy. Easy money. When I look back to where I was as a rookie, and if I had had to play for the entire season where I would have been, it's that much more impressive. He's doing it all. He's throwing the ball down the field. He's throwing with accuracy. Oh, what a great throw by Dak. On Thanksgiving Day, he made a play off schedule twice. Once for a touchdown to Terrence Williams at the front pylon that he just threaded the needle on, falling away to his right, just delivered a strike. Touchdown! It's a touchdown! Second time, threw a ball to Des Bryant that gave him a first down, down to the one or two yard line that pulled them away from us and it was tough to come back. Both throws were small windows in terms of accuracy and required a great deal of arm strength. Those are high level of difficulty throws and he made them both. Dak, boy, he's deadly now. One of Dak's biggest strengths is just that he's, he's a mobile, he's an athletic quarterback. You see on this play, I mean, his ability to extend the play, it literally frees an open width for a game with a touchdown. Look at Witten! Now he peels around left, now he throws it to the end zone! Jason Witten! Touchdown! Cowboys win! I gotta watch me real quick. <laughs> Prescott spinning around, the Eagles are blitzing, pigs are flying. Watch the collision on the back end. It's the two safeties, Rodney McLeod, Malcolm Jenkins, run into each other, and there goes Jason Witten for the game winner. I like that play. All right. <laughs> Man, I think what makes Dak so good is his poise. That's the feeling I get watching Dak is that it's, it's not too fast for him. He's able to process it, and when he's sitting back there in the pocket on third and nine, he just looks comfortable getting through his progressions. I've been able to develop it over time. I think what's been impressive about Dak is he did it right away. They played us at home, and I pretty much put some bait out there for them, like a curl route. And I was about to get ready to jump the crap out of it, but he saw me before he saw the receiver. <laughs> and he pulled it back and went to the other side and, and paid a play. <laughs> it's like, this son of a gun. <laughs> Just please take the cake. I set it up for you. And he didn't, man. And that's when I knew, like, this young rook gonna be pretty good. <laughs>